All right, so we're going to get Inkscape on your computer. And uh, to get Inkscape, we go to inkscape.org. So you can type this also in Google to get to inkscape.org if you want to. Let's go to download. Let's go to the Windows installer, but let's go down to the pre-release version. So I'm going to just save this over the top of what I already have. This actually won't allow me to install it twice on my system. So when you get it downloaded, what you do is you double click on it and next yes and OK to everything else. So double click on that, hit next, yes, and OK to everything. And when you are done, you have a program on your computer that looks like this. This is a very basic vector program, um, but its strength is very great. Um, I would say that, you know, when it comes down to it, I've used Illustrator for probably close to 25 odd years it feels like. Um, I recently got into my system where I was starting to explore open source a little bit because uh, I had students that were having problems getting the software as far as paying $199 for a year or whatever for the software. Um, I've been using open source for probably about five to six years and I I can't tell you anything that this program can't do that Illustrator can, really. Um, another thing is it has a few advantages over drawing that Illustrator does not have. And I don't know, it's just free and it feels like good to have something that I'm not relying on. Uh, all the creativity really comes out of you anyway, not the software. So just keep that as a mindset. We're going to be using this for the course. Um, if you are reluctant to use the software, I totally understand. Uh, you can try to import it in from Illustrator. So like, let's say you go file import and you can import every different variation of software out into this program and then go ahead and hit file save. That's a good place to get started with open source, I find. Because students are really like, oh, I love Adobe. I can't, I can't do anything without Adobe. Um, until they get hooked on this stuff. And then they start getting a little bit wise to why I'm showing you this. So, um, here's the software. And that's the purpose of this video is just to introduce you to it. And get it installed on your system. So, please move on.